I had a big crush on, on Tommy, too. <laughs> uh, they, too, were just adorable, funny, witty, way ahead of their time. They never should have been fired. They, uh, uh, for instance, one of the shows we were in that I did, I did st st few with them, with him, I think. Uh, one of them, I was forget what the scene was, but I was supposed to be playing Tommy's mother. And we had this scene, and he's supposed to come in and give me a peck on the cheek. And he took me in his arms and bent me over backwards and gave me this big mouth kiss. I mean, and I remember coming to him, I said, I'm your mother, <laughs> you know, or whatever it was. They were wickedly funny, just darling. I found I had a crush on both of them. But uh, uh, they were just brilliant, and they should never have been let go. They should have their own show now. They're still just as funny as they were then and creative. See how lucky I was to work with all these marvelous people? I mean, I was really born at the right time. I'm old now, but I wouldn't have missed one minute of my life so far. A lot of bad things have happened, but mostly a lot of good things. Think of all the people that I've worked with. Think of all the composers whose music I s created on Broadway, Cole Porter, Richard Rogers, uh, Alan J. Lerner, Kurt Weill. Um, there, there, there were 15 or 20 of them. I can't remember all right at the moment, but imagine being there. Irving Berlin, I did his last Broadway show. Think of how fortunate I was to be there. I've been in the right place at the right time, I think. <laughs>